photography can be used to make many kinds of effective and attractive visual materials. A slide like this one can help a social studies teacher, or a transparency and the overhead projector can help the elementary teacher in a science lesson. How can you make a transparency like this? The process is simple and requires a minimum of equipment and materials. You need a sheet of high contrast film, a leaf, some cutout letters, and chemicals for processing. Developer, stop, and fix. These chemicals can be purchased from photo supply and equipment dealers. The leaf and the letters are placed on a sheet of film under a red light. A piece of glass holds the objects in contact with the film. After a brief exposure to white light, the film is ready to process following the directions that come with the film. First, it is developed. Then it is rinsed in a stop bath and placed in a fixing bath for a few minutes. After washing and drying, the transparency will be ready for use. High contrast film can be used to copy illustrations from books or other sources. This picture with its variations in gray tones will not reproduce well on high contrast film. However, this line drawing is ideal because it has black lines on a light background and no gray tones. How can you copy a drawing like this? You need a camera, a pair of lights that can be easily adjusted, film, and a film holder. When loading, slide the film carefully under the channels with the emulsion or light side facing outward. Note that one end of the protective slide has a dark side and a light side. The light side facing out indicates unexposed film. In this demonstration, loading was done in white light. However, film must be handled in total darkness or under the proper safe light to prevent fogging. This film is not sensitive to red and can be safely handled under a red light. Let's see the process of copying a line drawing from a book. The book is held in place in a position convenient for copying. Lights are positioned at an angle of 45 degrees to give equal illumination centered on the copy. Although any type of light can be used, two reflector flood lamps are ideal, set about four feet from the copy. Set the lens to its maximum opening to make focusing easier. Then open the shutter. With the lens and shutter open, you can see the image on the ground glass in the back of the camera. Align the camera squarely with the copy. Adjust the distance to get the proper image size, then focus. Now you are ready to set the lens and shutter for the proper exposure. In this situation, an exposure of three or four seconds with the lens set at 11 should be about right. Close and reset the shutter and you're ready to make an exposure. Insert the loaded film holder in the camera and pull the protective slide out. Make the exposure and replace the slide in the holder with the dark side out to indicate exposed film. Now you're ready for processing. Slide the film into the developer and agitate for the first 15 seconds or so. In 30 or 40 seconds, the image appears and development is complete in about two minutes. Notice the darkening as development nears completion. The length of development time will vary with the type of film, so always follow the instructions that come with the film you have used. After development, place the film in a stop bath for about 30 seconds to stop the action of the developer. About five minutes in the fixing bath makes the image permanent. Then the film is washed in running water for 20 minutes and hung up to dry. Here is a properly exposed transparency. Notice the sharp, clear lines and dark background. This one is overexposed. The lines are not clear and sharp. 
This one is underexposed. The background is not dark enough. Unwanted detail can be eliminated from a transparency by brushing on a water-soluble paint called negative opaque. The transparency can then be bound for projection. Or this transparency can be used to make a reverse copy, particularly useful when several copies are needed. Place the transparency on a sheet of high contrast film with the shiny side up. Use glass to maintain good contact and expose two or three seconds with a 100 watt lamp at a distance of about two feet. To assure a sharp, clear print, black cloth is placed under the film. Processing is the next step. When dry, the print looks like this, ready for coloring and use in the classroom. Materials from many sources can be copied for instructional purposes. For example, pictures in a child's coloring book can be cut out and combined with lettering to make a paste-up suitable for copying. This paste-up has the proper proportion for a 2 by 2 slide. To make a copy, this teacher uses an upright stand and a 35 millimeter camera loaded with high contrast film. Use a flexible cable to minimize camera movement when tripping the shutter. Notice, the lights are set at a 45 degree angle. Used in a classroom, the finished slide stimulates the interest of these children in their study of Indian life. Persons in teaching or supervisory positions frequently need to prepare visual materials. Sometimes it's necessary to add captions to drawings. Typing is an easy way to do this. Transparent watercolors can be added to the photographic copy with a brush or cotton applicator. The color is applied to the emulsion side of the film. This transparency could also be used to make a print on photographic paper. The transparency or negative is inserted in the holder of the enlarger and the image is centered and focused on a sheet of white paper. To save paper and time, a test strip is made. A series of exposures on a strip of photographic paper, each exposure a different length of time. In this way, you can determine the proper exposure for a good print. The test strip is processed in the usual way. The middle exposure in this test strip looks best and is used when making the finished print. For identification, transparent colored adhesives can be applied to various parts of the drawing. These adhesives are rubbed down and trimmed with a razor blade or sharp knife. Then the excess is peeled off. Paper prints are often used in displays or projected with an opaque projector. Materials of many kinds can be set up on a flannel board and copied on high contrast film. For example, this arithmetic problem was copied to make this slide. The slide is more effective when transparent watercolors are added. Similarly, materials for a poster can be set up on a menu board. Letters combined with line drawings are copied and printed on photographic paper. This is especially useful when small quantities of the same poster are needed. Coloring with watercolors adds interest and makes the print more attractive. Another way of preparing posters is to use mechanical, stencil, or paste-up letters which can be copied. 
Line drawings of all kinds found in magazines or commercially prepared art books can also be photographed. The resulting copy negatives can be combined by taping them together. This combined negative can be used for projection or for making photographic prints. Administrators frequently have the problem of interpreting their programs to the public. Facts and figures may be presented by picture graphs. These graphs can be quickly prepared using commercially made symbols, which are available in sheets or rolls. Transparent symbols are also available. These can be projected directly or used as an original for photographic reproduction. Rubber stamp symbols are also useful for making charts and graphs. The completed graph can be copied on high contrast film to make slides or transparencies for an overhead projector. Original materials, such as this bookkeeping example, can be photographed and the prints combined. The resulting overlay makes it possible to show clearly the different parts of the example. High contrast photography is useful in all subject areas. And these materials are quickly and economically made. Line drawings copied from many sources can be photographed on high contrast film. The negative or print can be used as a two by two slide, a three and a quarter by four slide, a transparency for the overhead projector, paper print for the opaque projector or for display on a bulletin board. All effective visual ways of communicating your ideas.